Yes, we are back for another windy day at Rockingham because we've got another fast laps to film and today our contender is the R Bath 595 Competizione. Co competizione? Co Let's just drive. <laughs> is there a car that's more ridiculous then the Arbath 59 Competizione in yellow. This little thing is a terrier. And you know what? I have such a love-hate relationship with these Arbaths because, well, firstly, I don't fit in them correctly. This seat is way too high for me and I'm way too squashed up against the front of the car here to have my legs in a more comfortable position and be able to reach the steering wheel at the same time. Everything in this car is based on a platform from 2008. That's when Example was still making new albums and here we are in a car that you can still buy new in 2022 and it has links to those days, many technical links. But it's brilliant. I mean, we love them in Britain. They sell loads and loads in the UK and especially if you live in cities. I mean, I live in London and they're everywhere. I can hear them out and about with their raucous exhaust. This one, the Competizione, is the top model that you can get outside of the ridiculously high-end stuff that gets really expensive. This is the top 595 model, which is, you know, the bread and butter of the range. With 180 horsepower from a turbocharged 1.4 litre engine, it's not got numbers to really shout about, but it's got an exhaust that does a lot of shouting. This Monza exhaust is brilliant. It's got four pipes. This is a four cylinder, so that's a pipe per cylinder, or tailpipes even. So it's a bit ridiculous in that sense. But you just forgive it because it sounds excellent. And this gear lever, oh my God, it's a five-speed gearbox. I haven't had a five-speed gearbox for years. I mean, everyone's doing six speeds now, aren't they? But it's located nice and high on the dash, almost like the old Civic from a couple of generations back. All right, not the most tactile shift in the world, but it's still pretty good. And even the steering, which obviously is electrically assisted, there's not tons of feel, but the weighting feels quite nice actually and when you whack it into the sportier mode there are just two settings basically normal and sport the weighting feels good it's not overly fake in its weight like you get in some other cars brakes as well brilliant brakes on this car i mean it only weighs a ton or just over a ton it's sort of a bag of crisps over a ton which means they don't have that much work to do <laughs> but they feel really good it's good bite not much fade i've only been on the track a couple of laps but there's a couple of big stops on this circuit, as you might know. So overall, this is a package I shouldn't like. I love the way they look, I love the way they sound. I hate the seating position, I love the seats in the Competizione, brilliant seats, but I'm uncomfortable. So, technically, shouldn't really be my thing, but yet here I am having a giggle. And I want to talk to you, to you about this particular model. It has a limited slip diff, the Competizione now gets that diff. And it's a mechanical item, which is very good. And you're, if you're watching our fast lap series, which this is part of, you'll know I'm quite obsessed with tires and differentials, especially on front wheel drive cars. And this has a limited slip differential, a mechanical one, so I can feel it working at the front. But it also has what Arbath calls TTC, which is torque transfer control, if I remember correctly. And basically that, applies a brake to the inside tire or to, or to the tire that's generating slip under power. So that coupled with the limited slip differential means you've got really good traction on the front. And okay, yeah, 180 horsepower and whatever the torque figure is, nothing mad. You know, there, there's not enormous amounts of energy to be dealing with here. But it's got little 17 inch wheels, which by today's standards is pretty small. And this car, interestingly, is on Michelin Pilot Sport 3 tires. And I didn't know they still made those but they look pretty new. I haven't gone as far as checking the dates, but that's an old tire. You can get Pilot Sport 4s now, and then there's loads more other tires from Michelin as well. And these tires are a road tire. They're a sports road tire. So having that limited slip differential and that TTC system is really gonna help these not particularly extreme, but still pretty good tires put the power down. Or oh, it should do in theory. How quickly is it gonna go around the track? I mean. I'm just about comfortable without my helmet on. I don't know what I'm going to be like with the lid on. Where's it going to rank? Well, oh, it's not going to, surely this isn't going to be up there with our Mountune cars, which have astounded me in their pace because it's got considerably less power. But I don't know, it's so much lighter. The brakes are really good. 
I mentioned the tyres not being that extreme, but in the laps I've been talking to you, they feel fine. There's no fall off, there's no drop off. So, maybe this thing's gonna surprise me. I hope so. Let's see how it does against the stopwatch, all right. I'm gonna let the car cool down. Obviously, I'm gonna cool down. Rockingham is dry. Let's take full advantage of that. With a 128.09, our Arbath 595 Competizione has slotted towards the tail end of our field. I mean, who's surprised by that? Probably absolutely no one. It's one of the least powerful cars we've driven here. But also it doesn't really matter because I had so much fun driving it. Although, have you seen the state of the outside front tire? Oh my God, I am so shocked that it's actually in one piece. And then I made it around the lap because the amount of tire wear is just, well, it was at the maximum level. But yet the car still came around on that lap and actually set, I think, a respectable time. But I think it would have gone probably almost three quarters of a second quicker if the ESP, the traction control, could be fully turned off. Even with the systems in its sportiest modes, it just kept cutting in. And you probably saw on the lap, I was desperately trying to straighten the wheel on every corner exit because it wasn't until that wheel was almost perfectly straight that it would give me all the power. Um, and I had to take a few different lines as well. I had to throw it in. It's really good at being thrown in, by the way. Throw it in, get the car rotated, and then just straighten the wheel as quick as I could. Second last bend is actually one where if you watch it back again, you'll see I take a really wide entry, wider than I've ever done, to work with the car. All right, not particularly rapid around here, but what's not to like? It's yellow, sort of a banana yellow. There's an Italian name, but who cares? If you like the video as much as I like the color of this car, do click that like button and of course subscribe because we have many more videos coming up and more cars to put up against the stopwatch just like this little one. See you soon.